Hi friends and welcome back. If you're joining me for the first time, my name is Pastor Ruth. I'm the pastor of the Longmeadow Congregational Church, United Church of Christ here in Auburn, New Hampshire. I come to YouTube twice each week. I'm here every Sunday with a worship service for the entire church family, but I also get to come here every Wednesday with a special message for the children of our church. And that's why I am here today. I'm in the back of our church in what may look at first sight to be kind of a messy area, but this is actually one of the great blessed areas of our church that I wanted to share with you. Throughout this fall, I am talking to you about extravagant welcome, how God shows us extravagant welcome and calls us to do the same for others. Now, extravagant means more than you need to do, above all and beyond. It is the party of welcome. It is the celebration of welcome. And we are told to show that kind of excited, enthusiastic, loving welcome to everybody. And so last week I talked to you about some ways in which we try to make people feel welcome in our worship service by making sure that they know what we're doing and that they are invited to participate when they feel ready to do so. But we also do things together as a church in addition to worship. Worship is the number one thing, but we do other things together. One of the things we do is to serve people outside the church in different ways. We know that God calls us to serve other people. That if we see people who are cold, to give them things to keep them warm. If we know people are hungry, to give them food to feed them. If we know people are lonely, to visit them. And so we're involved in two particular things coming up this month in, in um, October. One thing that we do that we're very excited about is what's called the Religious Response to Hunger. It is coordinated by a synagogue in Manchester who reaches out to all of the houses of worship, the Jewish houses of worship, the Christian houses of worship, the Muslim houses of worship, anyone who worships, to join together to fill the food pantry in Manchester. And we said, we really want to do that. We felt so invited and so welcomed by Temple Adath Yashurin for inviting us into this, by inviting us and all of the other houses of worship to be part of this. They made us feel so welcome by providing us all the information that we needed, a place to go and a time, and they've coordinated everything. All we needed to do was to bring non-perishable food. And so we said, yes, we want to do that. We feel welcomed into that, and we want to do it. But we also want to include everybody in our congregation in whatever way they can. We all have different resources. We're all able to give different amounts. Some people have a lot of resources, and they're able to give a lot of money to things. But not everybody is. But everybody can be part of giving a little bit, because when we each give a little bit, it makes a lot. So maybe you can afford a can of soup, or maybe you can afford a jar of peanut butter. And we said, well, we wanna really make sure that everybody knows how they can participate. So we handed out to everybody in worship a couple weeks ago, a grocery bag, a clean grocery bag that had a list inside it. And this explains what we're doing, and on it is a list of things that uh, Temple Adath Yashuran sent to us that the food pantry said that they particularly need. So not only are you able to participate, but we're going to let you know how you can participate. What is the best way? What are the things that are most needed? So that you know that what you do is really making a difference. And so far in the first week, we've gotten all of these groceries, and we're going to have more coming in next week. 
And then we are going to get together not only with our friends at Temple Adath Yashurim, but also with members of all the different churches and synagogues and mosques in um, and uh, centers of worship for different faiths in the greater Manchester area during the Jewish High Holy Days. And we are going to then deliver all of this food. It'll be car loads and van loads and truck loads of food because we worked together. And you can be part of it too. You can just pick up a bag with the list or bring any non-perishable food to the church. As I said, we work in a number of different ways throughout the fall season in serving other people. And we know that, you know, maybe even buying a little extra groceries might be too much for some people, but there's always ways you can serve, even if you don't have a lot of money. Another project that we're involved in is Scarves in the Park. We invite people who have the skill, the ability to crochet or knit to make scarves or hats or mittens or gloves that we will then bring to different homeless shelters throughout the greater Manchester area. We work with a number of different ones because we have been so blessed, not only by people in our own church, but people beyond our church who knit or crochet scarves that can be used to keep people warm. We even have here yarn that's been donated to us. And so even if somebody, somebody has that skill, but they're like, oh, I, yarn's expensive now, I can't afford it. It's like, here, let us give you yarn. You can be a part of this if you want. We will make sure that you have what it, you need to be part of it because we value what you have to give and we want to provide you with what it is. We've been really lucky. All of this has been donated to us by generous people. And so we are able to then pass it along. You don't have to have a lot of money to give. You don't have to have a lot of skill to make a difference in the world. And that's what we want to show people when they join with us is that it's not about how much. It's about doing what you can where you are with what you've got. But together, we can really make a difference. And we want to make sure that you know that you are part of our community. You are part of this working together. What you have to give will make a huge difference in the world. Will you pray with me? God, sometimes we feel so small and alone and think we can't ever do anything to change the world. Help us to remember that even giving one can of food or making one scarf doesn't change the world, but it does change the world for one person in that moment. And that's all it takes to change the world. Help us to be your hands, your heart, and your extravagant welcome in the world. Amen. I thank you for joining with me here today. I'm so glad that you're here, and I'm so glad that you're joining us in worship on Sundays. Until then, remember, I love you very much. And above all that, God loves you more than you can ever imagine. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.